Hi, Ajay from Voodoo Phony here. In this video you will see how we made very big clock. It was an order from Italy. I hope that I won't be talking so much in this video. But no pinky swear here. <laughs> so the customer want clock from oak and blue metallic resin. In this side of the shop we usually have only small pieces for small projects like some coffee tables or in this video joint clock. Luckily I did find some wood perfect for this project and the design I'm looking for. Oh and uh, this clock in the end will be 70 centimeters in diameter. When you are working with live edge, it's really important that you clean live edge very well. This means that uh, every bark and uh, soft wood must be cleaned and uh, removed. If you want the best bond between epoxy and wood. If you didn't do that, maybe you are lucky and the item you've built won't fall apart. If you really want to save the bark, you can do that with some additional steps. The steps I'm talking about is removing the bark, cleaning the inside of the bark and the live edge, and then gluing the two pieces together with uh, epoxy. So it's not complicated. It's just time consuming. But if you really want to save the bark, this is the proper way to do that. Now we are in the mixing business. You really cannot over mix the epoxy. But if you don't mix enough, then you have a problem in the curing process later on. So please, take your time and mix it well. Enough talking. Enjoy for a few seconds of the jazz music. Here I'm cutting the piece to have. Why? Because my planer has 40 centimeters working width, and uh, my CNC has 90 by 60 centimeters working area.
with it or glue up. So no, we just need it to sand to perfection. Don't forget to connect your vacuumer to your device, especially if you are sanding. If you are sweating, you can cool down a little bit like this and have fun in the same time. For the belt sander, I'm using three grids. 80 grit, 100 grit and 150 grit. And the last rough thing to do is cut the circle. Like I said, it's too white for my CNC, so I've made some jig. As you see, the jig is very simple. Every pass was 3 mm deep. And the clock thickness was 2.5 cm. Here you see that I marked the location where the mechanism will go, so I can easily route it out the place for mechanism. I decided that I will make the round profile in the boat side, in the front and the back, so I did use 5mm round over bit on the router. Maybe is now the time that uh, I ask for your subscription, but click only if you think that I deserve it. And now if you did click it, thank you. I really appreciate it. And when I'm starting to send with my orbital sander, I like to move one step down. So in the belt sanding process, we finished with 150. Now we will start with 120. Then we will progress back to 150, then 200 and 240. Between the 200 and 240, I usually pop the grain. And because we will finish with uh, lacquer, uh, is 240 enough. I'm usually choosing water-based lacquer. Don't know why, but uh, I think it's uh, better for the environment. And for the last time, I will leave you with some just smooth music. We did use four layers, but we sent between it with the 240. We did came to an end, so now we just assemble it and it's finished. So for the last time, if you really think that I deserve your subscription, please. Click the button 
you won't do any harm to you, but to me, it will mean a lot. And if you did click the button, thank you. Really, thank you. And now, enjoy the assembling time and listen to some smooth jazz. Meanwhile, thank you for your time to watch this video and uh, be well. Bye.